America watched her grow up as Laura Ingalls on the hit show Little House on the Prairie. Well, it looks like once an Ingalls, always an Ingalls. In fact, actress Melissa Gilbert, now 45, finds herself answering to the name Laura as much as she does her real one. How many people still call you Laura? Lots of people. In fact, um, people will come to the show and they'll watch the show and they see me up there playing Ma and then they'll come to the stage door and I walk out and they'll go, Laura! Oh, I mean, and it just, it is, that's what it is. She may not be Laura Ingalls anymore, but more than 33 years later, this beautiful natural redhead is still part of the family. For 10 years, Little House on the Prairie was a huge hit for the NBC television network. Well, imagine taking that show and turning it into a musical and bringing it to the big stage, starring Melissa Gilbert, not as Half Pint, alias Laura Ingalls, but as Ma. <sighs> Melissa's first reaction to turning the show into a musical was one of considerable doubt. My manager called me and I said, N are you kidding me? You can't make this into a musical. And um, you know, once I got it all out of my system, he said, are you calm now? And I said, yes. He said, okay, will you please just read it and listen to the music and meet with this producer? And I did, and I immediately, you know, upon hearing the music and, and reading the book, the script, I said, absolutely, absolutely I will do this. And I met with Ben and I was, I was hooked. The stage production is quite grand and very fast paced. Melissa manages to keep up, but admits she has taken her lumps. The show looks exhausting. I mean, just absolutely must wear you out. It is. I'm, I, I must say, I've, and I've said to people a lot, I, I can't believe I didn't do this at 25 and I'm doing it at 45. Seriously. I, it, it's, it's a lot to do. It's very physical. Um, I am covered in bruises all the time. Bruce calls me the Dalmatian because I'm literally, <laughs> I'm spotted in bruises all over. You'd have to be. I've herniated two discs in my back. I've had pneumonia. Losing her adoptive father at an early age, Melissa became very close with Little House co-star Michael Landon. She joined the Landon family for weekends and vacations. She was devastated when he died of pancreatic cancer in July of 1991. And now, playing opposite his character as Ma, Melissa admits it can be emotional. I, I have nothing but fond memories of Michael, and the only time that it really comes is when I'm standing in the wings, thank goodness, because it doesn't really hit me on stage much. When I'm standing in the wings and I watch Steve with um, Megan Campanile, who's playing Laura here, um, he has a, a song when he sings to her in the opening of the show, and it's just the perfect father-daughter moment, which we had so many of on the television series and we had so many off camera. That's sometimes when I get a little melancholy. When Gilbert and husband Bruce Boxleitner's son was born in 1995, they named him Michael in Landon's honor. And while their other older sons are not in showbiz, Michael is following in his famous parents' footsteps. In this case, literally. I'm looking through here, and of course you pointed out the picture of Christian Whelan, and, and of course the picture of you, and, I, and I'm going down the line here, and I see this, this handsome looking young man, Michael Boxleitner, <laughs> and I think, wait a minute, but Michael Boxleitner, Bruce Boxleitner, your husband, could there be a connection? Yes, yeah, a little bit, that's my youngest son. And so he's on the road with you? He's on the road, his first job ever, he is playing um, a few roles, uh, but primarily Willie Olson, Nellie's little brother, Nellie's wow. nasty little brother. With dozens of commercials, TV projects, and movies to her credit, Melissa has been blessed with great success, and she's found a way to give back through one of her favorite charities, Habitat for Humanity. You have a show tonight, but tomorrow, do I understand you're very involved with Habitat for Humanity? You and some of the cast and crew members are going to go out and help build a house? Yeah, we do that every city we go to. That's we, fantastic. We go to a Habitat build, and um, I'm, I'm, I've been the drywall specialist in the company. Pretty good um, at... Uh, Putting up the drywall um, or, the, or the uh, taping and floating? I'm actually good at putting up the drywall. Okay. Um, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good at uh, cutting the drywall, and, and um, I love working with a, a good electric screwdriver. That's another story for another show.